It's the Professional Bowlers Tour. And greetings, ladies and gentlemen, from New Orleans, Louisiana, live and in color. I'm Chris Schenkel. In the New Orleans Championship, Dick Weber has won two games. 224 to 203 over Gerhardt, and in the last game, beating Ski Ferimsky, 204 to 180. Now, he must meet Jim Stefanich in the semifinal with the winner going into the final game against Billy Allen for 6,000. There is Stefanich. Two four five for Weber. Unlike the first two games when he opened with strikes, he now will have to settle for a spare. And I'm sure he will play this uh, from the left, reading Weber's mind a little bit here, Chris, because that track is very treachery, crossing it for those spares. You see him coming out of that left corner. He will play it right from the extreme left corner. Ooh. That's the only problem that can happen from that left corner. It would sail by it, and sure enough, uh, bad open for Weber. So now Stefanich, early, with the door open. This will be his first stroke. He's been waiting in the wings, watching Weber bowl two games. In the pockets, Stefanich opening with a strike. Jim Stefanich of Joliet, Illinois, who won five PBA crowns in the All-Star last year while setting a new money winning mark of $67,375. He was just fantastic, especially uh, from about Tampa on uh, in late March, or early April, right through August or September. Just unbeatable. Looking for a double. So he has applied the pressure to Dick Weber. Weber trailing by 21 pins. Weber opening in the first, now shooting in the second frame of this third game. <laughs> ABC Television, next week our last of the current season with the $100,000 Firestone Tournament of Champions. How many champions, Billy, are eligible and will be competing? There are 48, Chris, uh, and competing there uh, during the qualifying rounds. The field will be cut down to a 24-man finals the last two days. Dick moving around on that approach, thinking he had a strike, but 10-pin. Yes, and he wanted it very badly, getting off to an early deficit against a man like Stefanich. Uh, Weber wanted that one to apply a little bit of pressure, and I, I think he threw his best shot of the match there. Sometimes throwing it too good. That six goes right over that top. Again, it, that befell him. Now, Jim Stefanich, who's been perfect in two frames. Three in a row for Stefanich. He's a very interesting player, uh, Chris. Uh, watch uh, on the left as he puts this ball into motion. Very slow, very deliberate. Now there at that point, the arm is in a straight line. On the right, watch as it comes through the target. Probably the straightest track player today on the tour. Arm fully extended. You see the angle of the body to the arm is a straight line. That's tripping the four. In fact, just tipping it over about as gentle as you can. Chris, it's not the mighty arm anymore. It's the tender touch. And watch as it goes in there, right in the pocket, finishing just a little bit high on the head pin. But with that tender touch, the two pin comes back and tops the floor. Weber with his second strike in four frames. And with Stefanich stringing four, that was a big strike for Weber, whose son, Dick Jr., keeps bowling on the Professional Bowlers Tour, and we're happy to report that he did cash this week. It's good news, Billy. It certainly is, Chris. And 
will increase the Weber uh, earnings uh, corporately this week. <laughs> the dad, Weber, left the 4-8 on the left lane. Now Stefanich, winner of the uh, Chicago Tribune Amateur Golf Championship in the Chicago area one time, about a two handicapper now. <laughs> Seven pin. Very uh, analytical uh, viewpoint here. Uh, with that speed, the two pin, right over the top. We often speak of it, there you see it. And the stylus marks with a spare in the fifth frame, 109 through the fourth. Third game. back with his fifth strike and six frames, Stepanich. And now shooting in the sixth is Weber. Spare up in the fifth. Down by 40, it's getting late. Well, a few of those, Billy. And all of a sudden, uh, become not so late, right? Changing his adjustment slightly uh, to handle the right lane which gave him a little bit more trouble and now he's lost uh, the left lane the one real good stroke that would really get him winging he lost the 10. a double for dick weber and that cuts the margin down to 30 pins. We'll be back here at the $45,000 New Orleans Open Championship in just a moment for more bowling action. Of Pete Fountain, jazz great. New Orleans born. We'll be chatting with him after the game. He's here with the great saxophonist, member of his band, Eddie Miller, formerly of the Bob Crosby Bobcats. There's Eddie. I'd like to announce again that due to the death of former President Eisenhower, our regularly scheduled sports telecasts will not be seen tomorrow, Sunday afternoon. In professional basketball, the fifth game, however, is necessary in the Baltimore-New York Knickerbocker series. It will be shown live from Baltimore Thursday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Look at the smile. Yes, a few oohs and ahs, uh, Chris. Jim does not play much hook at it. Uh, from that left corner, he caught a little bit of the track and uh, almost finished to the left of it. Uh, another coat of paint or two there, and uh, would have missed. Right back. That booming strike. He opened with four in a row, marked with a spare, another strike, another spare, now strike in the eighth. And here's Dick Weber, who won his first two games, is now trailing by 30 pins. However, he has a double up. Chris, he's back in the hunt now. Cuts the margin to 20. Sets up the left-hand lane if he can strike and cut it to 10. Chris, watch as he puts the ball in motion on the left. We'll see again the pendulum swing. On the right, look, 
as he sets himself at that point, the arm is going to the right. He knows that it's a good shot. You can see the body English. He has four in a row. 17-time champion Dick Weber going against Jim Stephanie, who has won nine titles. The winner of this match will meet Billy Allen, who is a 13-time PBA champion. Parade of stars here at New Orleans. Chris, I think we figured last night there are 45 titles represented in today's cast. There's a double for Stefanich. And instead of a 10-pin lead, he now leads by 20 in the late stages of the semifinal, Billy. That's what you might refer to taking the gauntlet and handling it well. Under that pressure to throw that beautiful a shot. And now the 10th frame for Stefanich. The 8-10 split. Chris, uh, watch the ball deflects greatly to the right here. I'm sure what he was thinking of is not attacking the pocket with a big wide hook or sharp finish. Here he doesn't get any, so he has a sharp finish to the right. Deflects away and leaves an unmakeable unless it bounces out. An 8-10 split for champion Jim Stepanich where he's thinking about cozying it up in there and uh, and certainly a sure mark. Now, if Dick Weber can strike, he can win the game. He's put together four in a row. Pressure, pressure. Dick Weber. Five strikes coming back. Trailing at one point by 40 pins, taking a four pin lead. What play? Chris, we have an interesting possibility. I'm sure it won't develop. Well, he's using two tight a line, but count is important on this ball. Oh, wait. No, he got a break. Dick Weber. The winner, which means that the two men. And the professional bowlers, Weber with 17, Allen with 13 championships. A righty and a lefty will meet for the sixth grand. What a game by Weber. He has won three games in a row, bowling a 239 to Jim Stefanich's 225. Tough break for Stefanich. Big win for Weber. It certainly was, Chris. When I saw that ball go to the right on his second shot, I thought it might miss the head pin, but he used good hook. Well, that big final match coming up, and the action will continue here in New Orleans after this message.